Welcome to part one edition of the YourNews.com 2018 Summer Wrap-Up Blended TV Central Valley Edition featuring the latest news in Fresno, Merced, Madera, Tulare, and Kings Counties. According to Wikipedia, in the geographical center of the state of California, dominates a flat valley 40 to 60 miles wide, and is inland from, and parallel to the Pacific Ocean coast. It is California's single most productive agricultural region, one of the most productive in the world, providing more than half of the fruits, vegetables, and nuts, grown in the United States. This place known as the Central Valley, is the focus locale, of this yearnews.com, summertime review. The busy summer in the Central Valley started off in June. Juneteenth, a historical holiday rejoicing the emancipation of enslaved African Americans, June 19, 1865, was celebrated throughout Fresno, California and the surrounding areas, especially in downtown Fresno, where the first two-day Juneteenth Jazz and Blues Festival commenced. In Fresno, California, the own main news wire reported, local jazz and blues legends Bobby Logan and posthumously Curtis Papa Bear Hatcher who were honored during National Juneteenth holiday in downtown Fresno and at the African American Museum, drew over 800 people downtown and 1,200 people to the African American Museum, an attractive draw for a first annual event. The own main network in partnership with the Downtown Fresno Partnership and the African American Museum for the Juneteenth Jazz and Blues two-day celebration, was inspired to use the holiday to celebrate local African American artists who have paved the way for others. News in mid-June continued regarding one of America's favorite sports and city's favored college coach. 32 years as the head coach of the Merced College baseball team, Chris Pedretti, known as the winningest coach for any sport in Merced College history, opted to step down in June and stay on with the Blue Devils as an assistant. Longtime pitching coach Nate Devine will take over the head coaching duties. Coach Pedretti said, I know that the program is being left in great hands with Nate Devine. Devine led Merced College to a 22-14 record and a playoff berth in his lone season as a head coach when Pedretti took a one-year sabbatical during the 2012-13 school year. Pedretti led Merced College to the playoffs 22 times, capturing five conference titles along the way and was named the Northern California Coach of the Year in 2009. State Senator Andy Widdock recognizing the Rosa Brothers Milk Company as the 14th Senate District's Small Business of the Year. Operated by brothers Roland and Noel, Rosa Brothers Milk Company is a family-owned and operated dairy farm in the Central Valley. The California Small Business Association, a volunteer-driven, non-profit, non-partisan organization, organizes Small Business Day each year in Sacramento. Other news in late June, the city of Madeira was seeking community input for draft proposals of three new development incentive programs designed to bolster interest from developers and investors seeking new opportunities in the city. The drafts of the proposed programs came after a city council subcommittee comprised of council members Will Oliver, Charles Rigby, and Jose Rodriguez organized a series of meetings with community groups to identify ways the city could make it easier for property owners and builders to invest in Madeira, describing their desire to allow property owners and developers to invest more dollars into their properties and less into city permit fees, with the intent that the community gains in the long run with increased employment and tax revenues. California Ag Today reported that in Tulare County, Beth Crafton Cardwell, Director of the Lidcove Research Extension Center in Tulare County and research entomologist based out of the University of California Riverside said, there is work being done on installing a net structure to protect trees from Asian citrus psyllids, which spread the deadly Hu and Longbing disease. Texas A&M researchers are installing net structures on the edge of groves to block psyllids from coming into an orchard. Psyllids have a preference for borders. These nets could have yellow sticky strips of material with an insecticide on it, so there would be an attract and kill process. News in early July included the grand opening of Bitwise's hives on Ventura Street in Fresno, California. Known for its Silicon Valley feel, although surrounded by rustic shallows just a few miles out, Bitwise continues to service and groom the Advent Technology students while fostering local technology businesses and entrepreneurs in their connected buildings sprinkled throughout downtown Fresno. 
Bharat's thriving technology businesses are able to intermingle and utilize similar services to enhance business models. The Bitwise Hive officially opened its stores this past summer, featuring its grand opening, June 30. Madeira County taking the next step to privatize its water district. The Madeira County Board of Supervisors approved an exclusive negotiating agreement with Bachman Water Company for the potential sale of County Service Area 19, Rolling Hills, Water System. The water system provides service to approximately 335 customers in Rolling Hills, located in District 1 in Madeira County. In May of 2017, the Rolling Hills Homeowners Association unanimously requested that the water system for Rolling Hills be privatized and no longer be operated and maintained by Madeira County. Watch more locallyournews.com Summer recap after this short message. Get the details of these stories and more online at www.yournews.com. The news and information in this broadcast submitted by members of the community do not necessarily reflect or express the views of yournews.com or Blended TV. Be sure to submit your personal news stories by setting up your free online account today at yournews.com. In the city of Fresno, the city council races could prove to be very competitive this November election. District 1, 3, 5 and 7 primary election results were so splintered between council contenders, that it was apparent that the extremely low voter turnout affected each race, according to the On May Newswire. On the contrary, Fresno's city council District 1 incumbent, 
Esmeralda Soria glided into her second term with no opposition, receiving over 96% of the primary votes for an easy, likable win to her seat. It would be the other three districts voted on this primary which had a hard time revealing the winner due to splintered votes between the three to four candidates in each of the races, District 3 having the most with seven contenders. However in District 3's race where less than 20% of its registered residents voted, clear runoff lead candidate Miguel Arias will campaign against Tate Hill, who barely etched a second in the runoff seat over recount candidate Darren Miller by just six votes. Arias won with a big lead, garnering 37% of the votes to Hill's 15%. The 27th Annual Tiger Athletic Hall of Fame Class of 2018 induction ceremony in Reedley, California this past August featured five Reedley College inductees, Amanda Foss and Burton, track and field, 1998-2000, Jack Edwards, baseball, 1997-1999, Marie Bird Harris, track and field, 1997-2000, Heather Goodman Morris, Volleyball, 1997-2000, and Brian Tesler, Girls Basketball Head Coach, 1998-2007. Everett Aaron Jameson, 27, of Modesto, California, was sentenced to 15 years in prison, and a life term of supervised release, for attempting to provide material support to the Islamic State of Iraq and Al-Sham, ISIS, a designated foreign terrorist organization. Assistant Attorney General for National Security John C. Demers, U.S. Attorney McGregor W. Scott for the Eastern District of California, and Special Agent in Charge Sean Reagan of the FBI's Sacramento Field Office made the announcement. The sentence was issued by U.S. District Judge Lawrence J. O'Neill. There is no place in the United States for terrorists and terrorist sympathizers who threaten innocent people, and the National Security Division will relentlessly seek to identify them and bring them to justice said Assistant Attorney General Demers. Jameson put his fellow Americans at risk by supporting ISIS and planning an attack on behalf of the terrorist organization. This is unacceptable, and I am grateful for the hard-working agents and prosecutors who are responsible for this successful result. In Fresno, California, Pacific Bell Telephone Company, formerly known as AT&T Pacific Bell, will pay $15,000 and furnish other relief to settle a disability discrimination lawsuit brought by federal agency, the U.S. Equal Employment Opportunity Commission EEOC. According to the EEOC's lawsuit, Pacific Bell violated federal law when it did not effectively accommodate a deaf employee at its Fresno, California location. Despite the employee's numerous requests for a sign language interpreter, managers chose to provide inadequate accommodations for the worker by standing close to him during meetings so he could read their lips, or by jotting down notes explaining the contents of the meeting after the fact. The EEOC contends that such behavior deprived the worker of equal employment opportunities, privileges and benefits of employment, which negatively affected him as an employee. Watch more locally or news.com summer recap after this short message. Details of these stories and more online at www.yournews.com. The news and information in this broadcast submitted by members of the community do not necessarily reflect or express the views of yournews.com or Blended TV. Be sure to submit your personal news stories by setting up your free online account today at yournews.com.
Here's a church review featuring locations in Tulare County, the place known worldwide for its annual World Ag Expo trade show every second week of February. River Valley Church is a part of the River Network, an international revival network and is part of Global Legacy, an apostolic network based out of Bethel Church in Redding, California. It is located at 554 South Blackstone Avenue. Sunday service begins at 10 a.m. River Valley Church serves as a local food pantry to families in need for the city of Tulare. Families are referred to them through local agencies, schools and nonprofits. Call for more information. Community Presbyterian Church is located in Three Rivers, California at 43410 Sierra Drive. Sunday worship, September through May, begins at 10.30 a.m., and June through August, services at 9.30 a.m. The church supports and operates the Three Rivers Bread Basket Food Pantry, which distributes food to those in need within the community on the second and fourth Wednesday of each month. Community Presbyterian Church has a grief support group to encourage support for members of the community who are experiencing the death of a spouse, child, family member, or friend. First Congregational United Church of Christ, Tulare, is over 135 years old, one of the oldest churches built in the 1800s, and it prides itself on its contemporary and progressive outlook, promoting to come as you are. It is considered a open and affirming congregation of the United Church of Christ who has a host of outreach services, Sunday school, youth ministries, women fellowship groups, music ministries, and mission opportunities. Sunday worship begins at 11 a.m. and the church is located on Tulare's Main Street at 220 West Tulare Avenue. The Tulare Evangelical Free Church is in association with the Evangelical Free Church of America. Senior Pastor Rich Jones founded Tulare Evangelist Free Church in 1993, serving as the senior pastor ever since. The church lists a number of activities, ministries, and group workshops on their website, such as their children's ministry and neighboring ministry. Tulare Evangelical Free Church is located located at 2100 East Cross Avenue. Corporate worship service is Sunday mornings at 9.30 a.m. Wednesday evening service with adults, youth and children begins at 6.30 p.m. And now, Central Valley Memoriam, Anniversary, and Celebratory Announcements.
Watch more locally or news.com. Summer recap after this short message. Get the details of these stories and more online at www.yournews.com. The news and information in this broadcast submitted by members of the community do not necessarily reflect or express the views of yournews.com or Blended TV. Be sure to submit your personal news stories by setting up your free online account today at yournews.com. For some not familiar with yournews.com's self-submitting features, it is an online free news site where people from their local areas can create a free account and submit their personal news stories and press releases at any time. Well, one local news item continued to dominate submissions from Fresno, California throughout June, July, and August, centered around a mental illness counselor and certified mental illness training specialist who seemed torn by a relationship gone sour. Whatever publicized tactics used to get back at the ex, seem to have landed this professional in court. Let's watch. Mental health worker Christina Valdez Roop, who has been executive director of the local Fresno, California affiliate of National Alliance on Mental Illness, NAMI, since 2014, was charged multiple felonies for violations of Penal Codes 30305, possession of ammunition, 29825, possession of firearms, and 27545, illegal transfer of weapons and ammunition by the California Department of Justice, CADOJ. The Fresno's District Attorney's Office is currently reviewing the charges revealed by a CADOJ supervisor, special agent witness, during a July 23rd restraining order court hearing. On the day she was served the temporary restraining order, Valdez Roop had 48 hours to turn in her weapons to a dealer or the police department. Valdez Roop ended up in court facing charges of harassment, who was granted a permanent civil harassment order by Judge Carlos Cabrera, set not to expire until July 23rd, 2021. During the court hearing, witness testimony of a CADOJ supervisor their special agent confirmed there was a report submitted where Valdez Roop was prohibited from gun ownership due to the previous May 25th temporary restraining order. So Valdez Roop's CCW permit was revoked by the Fresno County Sheriff's Department immediately. According to Penal Code 30305 and Penal Code 29825, upon an assailant getting a restraining order, they are no longer allowed to possess ammunition or firearms. She was therefore ordered to surrender weapons. However, in checking with the local police and courts, Valdez Roop had not turned in those firearms, in which the CADOJ had to process a search warrant to inspect her residence. They found a shotgun, handgun, and ammunition. However, the CADOJ supervisor special agent reported that the guns were left with Valdez Roop's attorney, William Reeland. On July 10th, the agent noted that such an action is not normal policy. Guns must be forfeited to a local police department or licensed firearms dealer. The CADOJ had submitted felony charges against Valdez Roop to the Fresno County District Attorney's Office based on the above penal codes 30305 and 29825 still pending review. The CADOJ also submitted a charge for the illegal transfer of weapons and ammunition to her attorney, which violates penal code 27545. NAMI, who leans towards hiring individuals who have experienced mental illness or have dealt closely with a family member suffering from it, is a community benefit organization provided to communities at no cost and delivered from a lived experience perspective. 
providing education, support, and advocacy for all people affected by mental illness. According to their website, Valdez Roop has publicly expressed her several suicide attempts and other challenges with mental illness she continues to work on daily. Valdez Roop has served as a mental health mentor and trainer to law enforcement agencies, criminal justice systems, local school districts to teachers, administrators and students, and faith communities to raise awareness for mental health and reduce stigma of mental illness. She also serves as a board member for Central Valley Children's Services Network, NAMI California, California CIT Association, active member of the Maternal Wellness Coalition, Fresno County Suicide Prevention Collaborative, California Perinatal MH Collaborative, and FUSD Health and Human Services Career Pathway Subcommittee. Valdez Roop is certified in crisis intervention training for law enforcement and adult and youth mental health first aid. Valdez Roop has a Bachelor of Science degree in marketing from the University of South Carolina and has also worked a number of years in the banking industry. And that about wraps up part one edition of the YourNews.com 2018 Summer Wrap-Up Blended TV Central Valley Edition. Get the details of these stories and more online at www.yournews.com. The news and information in this broadcast submitted by members of the community do not necessarily reflect or express the views of yournews.com or Blended TV. Be sure to submit your personal news stories by setting up your free online account today at yournews.com.